Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Scholes. On Friday, we heard a story, or a poem I should say, of Pomona's best gifts. And today, we're going to start the week with the story of Pomona. Truly, it's the story of her love between her and Vertumnus. It's an adaptation of a myth narrated originally by Ovid, and I do hope that you enjoy it. It's quite a love story in its own way. This is Pomona. In the far-off days when the children of sunny Italy saw the hillside vineyards rich with purple grapes and the branches of the orchards bending with the weight of luscious fruit, they clapped their hands and cried gleefully, See Pomona's gifts! They offered grateful thanks to the wood nymph, whose thoughtful care brought the precious fruit into a bountiful harvest. Carrying a curved knife in her right hand, the faithful Pomona glided swiftly up the hillside and primed the low bending vines of all rank shoots. By cutting away all withered branches, she kept her orchards green and trim, and thus helped the trees to bring forth richest fruit. So happy was this nymph in her work that she gave no attention to the numerous suitors who hoped to win her. Many a time a madcap satyr desiring to attract Pomona's attention danced in vain near her orchards. Pan played entrancingly on his reed pipes, but the nymph gave no heed to his music. Among the many admirers of Pomona was a youth named Vertumnus, who presided over gardens in the changing seasons. How he patiently planned to meet this charming nymph while she was tending her fruit and vines, but his advances were always met with a coy indifference which puzzled him. At last he determined to appear in various disguises in order to see if he could attract her attention, and discover if she cared for him. One day he took the form of a plowman, whip in hand as if he had come from unyoking the tired oxen in a neighboring field. At another time he assumed the guise of a woodman carrying a pruning knife and ladder, and then he appeared in the garb of a hardy reaper carrying a basket filled with gold and grain. But no matter what disguise he took, Plowman, woodman, reaper, fruit-gatherer, soldier, fisherman, he failed to win any attention from the nymph, whose interest was centered on the precious orchards and vineyards. One day, when Pomona was carefully examining the ripening fruit, an old woman leaning on a staff appeared before her and said, Thy patient care will earn a precious harvest. Never have I seen such marvelous fruit. Tell me, fair nymph, does some strong youth help thee attend to the orchards and vineyards? The maiden shook her head and replied, There is no youth who is constant enough to love the orchards and vineyards as dearly as Pomona. But the old woman drew near to her and said, There is one youth whose constancy cannot be questioned, but thou hast scorned his advances. Many times he has told thee how gladly he would be thy helpmate for nothing in nature delights him so much as the golden harvest of luscious fruit. Thou meanest Vertumnus, said the nymph. Then she added, He is indeed worthy of thy praise. Suddenly, the old woman straightened her bent figure and threw off her disguise, and there, before Pomona, stood the handsome form of Vertumnus, who no longer felt any doubt about the nymph's love. In the autumn sunshine under the trees whose boughs were bending with the ripening fruit, Pomona and Vertumnus plighted their troth, and agreed to share in the labor of bringing to perfection the gifts of orchards and vineyards. And that is the legend of Pomona and her love. And as I said, it is quite the love story, and... I do enjoy it. I hope you did as well. This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com. You'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday. Wednesday and Friday. If you enjoyed the story, please 
Head over to wherever you listen to podcasts and leave a rating or a review. I do appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for listening.